This movie is based on a novel by Amy Koppelman, who also wrote the screenplay and directed this movie. It tells a story about Julie, a children's book author who's stuck in her head and apart from her loved ones after she tries to hurt herself. The main theme about postpartum depression that this movie has is empathetic, but this insubstantial novel adaptation is not really good. It's a lackluster and subdued drama with uneven and muddled narrative. As a look at depression that can lead to suicide, this movie falls short on insight and dramatic heft. While the director is dedicated to showing postpartum in all of its harrowing nature, this movie isn't very interested in delving deeper than it has to. It scratches only the surface and never really digs into the character's social isolation and emotional instability. Almost every aspect of the movie's script lacks precision and depth. Amanda Seyfried gives a nuanced performance, but the movie fails to go beyond the surface to engage with its themes in a meaningful way. This movie should be a moving story about a prevalent issue that deserves more media attention. Unfortunately, the drama's crafting is less successful despite its talented cast and good-hearted aims to shed light on a serious issue. A lot of the details of Julie's life are vague, painting a bare-bones picture of her life that is never fully realized or captured for the audience. The movie often invites the viewer's judgment without giving us meaningful or revealing details about what Julie's feeling. The movie uses jump cuts, a handheld camera, and sound effects to sketch Julie's distress but absent in a more penetrative window into her character. The opening scene of bleakness is emblematic of this movie ensuing approach to its story, which routinely omits basic details about its characters and their situations or suggests them in unsatisfactorily vague ways. At first, there's no problem with the restraint that the movie takes as its approach, but soon it becomes something of an avoidance habit, keeping us from fully grasping the full measure of Julie's postpartum depression. The reasons for her estrangement for her father are never fully explicated either. There's only few scenes which have some power, like the one where Julie's sister-in-law accuses her of selfishness and the occasional tension that develops between Julie and Ethan. Animated interludes that bring Julie's illustrations to life drag on for too long and don't add much to the movie. The plot complication in the third act that gives an overly simplified explanation for Julie's mental state feels forced and inadequate to the important issues about postpartum life that the movie wants to impart. By the time the ending finally hits, the audience has already worn out. Overall, this movie is so frustrating given how dramatically contrived and narratively flat the movie is. The movie wants to impart the experience of what having postpartum depression can be like, but it struggles to engage with Julie enough to properly do so beyond the bare minimum. Even the biggest, most emotional moments feel small and trite. We do not recommend this movie at all.